Welcome back. It's time now to go back out to Tom at the Butterfly Palace in Branson. Yeah, how's that going, Tom? It, it's going fine. You remember a little bit earlier, Brittany told you about all the butterflies being from the rainforest? Well, there are a bunch of animals here from the rainforest. I have Rusty over here, and we're going to talk reptiles now. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. A lot of people don't think about reptiles when they come to the Butterfly Palace, but that's we got true. them. Tell me, to, tell me who your friend is here. So this is my friend Harry. He's a blue-tongued skink from Australia. Mm -hmm. He's about 18 years old. Really? Yeah, he's been here for a long time. Okay, now give me some of the background on the skink. As I understand, uh, Australia? Yeah, he's from Australia. In fact, he's considered good luck if they have him around their houses because these skinks are harmless to humans, mm -hmm. but they take care of all kinds of pests and critters. Yeah. So people in Australia love them around their house. And, and when we're talking skink, this one's from Australia. We have skinks in the Ozarks, do we not? We do, but ours are much smaller. Yeah, they're very small. When you get to Indonesia and Australia, the skinks tend to get a lot bigger. In fact, the female skink can be a half size bigger than Harry is. Oh, okay. All right. Now, you were also telling something. The skink has a little bit of protection from other predators. He does. Because he's harmless, he's not poisonous or venomous, right. and he's got these short little legs. He can't run very fast, so mm -hmm. he has to find ways to protect himself from predators. One of those ways is he'll bring those little legs in close to his body, flatten himself out. If he does that, he looks like a snake. Yes, he does. Now, <laughs> Australia is home to some of the most venomous snakes in the world, so most predators are smart enough to leave a snake alone. Yeah, I'd, I'd leave you alone too, actually, <laughs> especially if you look like a snake. Now, of course, you know, the skink, that's just one of the animals. You have so many more inside. Oh, yeah. It's not only a visual pleasure to see these things, but you learn things in here. It is. That's, that's what makes the Butterfly Palace so great, is you come here, you're not only enjoying all the things around you, but you're learning at the same time. Mm -hmm. And that's what makes this experience so special compared to others. Now, what are some of the animals that, that you know, if you come to the, the Rainforest Science Center here at the Butterfly Palace, mm -hmm. I know when I peeked in there, one of the things that caught my eye like right away was you have piranha back there. We do have piranha, <laughs> yeah. They get a bad reputation. They're yeah. not quite as bad as people like to paint them out to be. You mean all those magazines and movies and everything, yeah. that's not quite true? Yeah, not everything you see on the big screen is true, that's <gasps> for sure. They do like to eat meat, but they're going to run from you faster than you're going to run at them. Okay. Yeah. Some other things in there. Did I see? Is it a dart uh, frog? Poison. Poisonous a dart frog. Poisonous frogs. dart frog. Now, the neat thing about the poisonous dart frogs is they're only poisonous because of the kind of bugs they eat in the wild. So, because our poisonous dart frogs are fed special crickets, they're not poisonous at all. They just oh, have this frogs look. now, huh? That's right. They are pretty, and that's that's something that you see here. You see the beauty of nature. I mean, when people oftentimes when they think of reptiles, they go ew. But if you stop and you take a look, you can really look at it from a different uh, different point of view. It's true, and we try to get people to realize that. We get those folks in here that, hey, reptile, I'm going a mile around to not, to not touch those things. But we try to explain to them, just give it a chance. When are you gonna get a chance to pet a reptile from Australia and experience that? That's true, I'm gonna do that right now because yeah. I know this isn't something you always do, but if you see Rusty out with his friend here, That's right. You can get up close, you can do a little petting there. That's right. Throughout the day, you can catch us out here with one of our critters, and you can get to know them a little better, get to learn about what they are and what they do in the wild, and, and maybe even get to pet them at the same time. Okay, I'm going to ask you, because you're here all the time now, and this is just between me and you. Okay. What is something that people should really look for when they're, when they're here seeing the reptiles? Oh, wow. You know, I wouldn't want people to miss anything, to be honest with you, because uh -huh. there's just so many incredible critters in here. Um, but I'd say, you know, check out, the best thing to do is check out these critters and find out the ones you're familiar with, ones you may have seen on TV, ones you may have had things you thought were about them but aren't so true about them. Like a chameleon doesn't change its colors based on its surroundings. It changes its colors based on its feelings. So there's so many things you so can So they're learn. mood chameleons they is what they are. They are, I'll right. be darned. Yeah. I never knew. See, but that's the kind of thing you could, I learned that, that butterflies taste with their feet. 
Yeah, that's right. So, uh, so there are so many things you can learn here. Uh, even if you just come and you just want to sit on one of the benches and watch the butterflies and think, it's just a wonderful place to drop into. This. And a great thing about this place as well is all the employees here are a plethora of information. All you have to do is ask any of them about anything. And if they don't know the answer, they'll find out who does and they'll get that answer for you. So all people have to do is go to your website. They can keep track of everything that goes on here. I know we're steps away from so many nice articles of clothing and everything, huh. gift shops, so you can take part of the Butterfly Palace home with you. That's right. We're not only known for our critters and our butterflies, but the wonderful gift shop we have here is filled with so many beautiful treasures that you can't find anywhere else, really. That's true, and you probably won't find many of those uh, everywhere either. So come on out and visit. Back to you guys. All right. Thanks, Tom. Man, I sure didn't know some of that stuff. That's I crazy. know.